read on Dan Price. He's in Seattle. He runs a credit card company. Um, I guess they check the credit card information, whatever. But what he did six years ago, he raised everybody's salary. Some people were making 35,000, he raised it to 70,000. And everybody said his company's gonna fail. Six years later, they're thriving. And how did he do it? He took a million less in his salary. He gets now the same thing as the workers get. Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, all of the, uh, okay, the Uber right ones were saying it's going to fail. You watch. This is, you know, socialism. You know, they were saying all sorts of things. But it's thrived. And the people in the company, because they were making 70000 now a year, and they have uh, the husband and the wife working in the company, you know, these people were making enough now that they could have children. You know, they could buy their home. They could have children. And, um, and they're loyal to the company. You know, it's like a family. He takes care of them. He's not up here. You know, he got rid of his second home. He downsized his life. And now is in the, making the same thing as his employees are making. So, you know, I wish more people in these big companies would do something like that because they would have a lot more loyalty. People would be happier in their jobs. They would stay long term and the company would thrive because uh, it helps if you've got happier workers. So what we have first card out is yeah, the light, shining the light on it. You know, people are happy in that company. They're doing well. The challenge was balancing, balancing, juggling this for a time. You know, I'm sure in the beginning it was not easy. There were the ups and the downs, but they were able to make it. Conscious thoughts were about, you know, we're gonna go together, we're gonna work together, okay? This is something that we all have to work on. Subconscious thoughts. This is the higher right thing to do, okay? That I'm holding to the higher things. I'm going to be a man that's going to step up to the plate. In the past, you know, this is the past of this six years putting this. It's made, again, a stability for the families that they're able to have families, they're able to have children. Short term, okay, um, you take away what you can take away from it. Um, we'll have to pull some more cards perhaps and see what it's talking about the theft, but I also see this card as you take away what you can take away and you leave the rest behind. Okay, so the way he sees himself yeah, this was something that he had to, um, in himself, he downsized. He looked at things, okay? He re-evaluated what it was and working together, um, bringing balance the way others see it. It took them out of a place of the rocky road to a smooth. One side was rocky, the other side smooth. So this was a big, you know, lessening of mental strain for them, being able to go forward to a higher dynamic, okay? Hopes and fears, okay? Seeing from a different perspective. The fear is, you know, there were those that were fearing that they would go belly up, that they would get hung up. But it, that hasn't been the case. They've seen from a different perspective to make it better for the workers, for the families. Um, the outcome is truth, okay? The truth of uh, seeing what can be accomplished, what you can take away and what you need to leave behind for this to work. Above it, you know, a lot of notions, a lot of, um, this hits a lot of different areas. 
but underneath of it, it's a victory. It's a victory. Um, okay. So again, you know, there was a lot of uh, notions floating around about it, um, but the truth was they, they ended up in a victory with it. Um, worked together for the for the company for the workers on one side re-evaluating his thing his life and the way he was conducting and seeing it from a different perspective this was about um you know shedding light on it doing the right thing okay taking action to do the right thing um again take away what you can take away and leave the rest balance balance by putting out the truth of the situation. And the light of truth is on this, that yes, it can be done. The uh, company can be successful. People will be happier in their jobs and it's going to work going forward. Just do the right thing, do the higher thing, okay? Do the higher thing. Treat the company people like you'd want to be treated. The CEOs, if they, again, if they would let go of some of their yachts and their mega homes and all of this stuff and give some back to the workers and do what they used to do in the old days, you know, um, they used to see their workers as part of the family. They would take care of each other now it's it's turned into the bottom line money the bottom line investors you know and uh the workers be damned they come and they go okay always somebody new to take their place while well, you get unhappy workers you get less of stability okay and the company out of greed is going to lose out so thanks for tuning in love and light see you online